This video is sponsored by Fox 3 Managed Solutions. Use the coupon code above to get 10% off your subscription. All right, welcome back. This is a continuation of my beginner guide series for DCS for new users. Today, we're gonna to be going over mods and how to install them. Before we get started, I wanna make sure that I make a couple disclaimers here for those of you who are new. Not all mods are created equal. Some of them uh, will break DCS, some of them will not. Some of them will work perfectly fine, but they break multiplayer, IC, integrity check, or some of them won't. Some of them require donor aircraft, which means, yes, the mod itself is free. You can download it for free, but it requires that you own the F-15C uh, Flaming Cliffs module or you own the Su-27 module, Flaming Cliffs module. And that mod will wrap around that aircraft and some modifications to the uh, values inside the code but it, it basically is the F-15C, but with a skin around it to make it look like a different type of jet and has some modifications to its thrust uh, value and things like that in the code. But it needs that F-15 in order to even work in the sim. So technically, not all mods are free. Some of them require a donor aircraft. Yes, the mod itself is free, but it requires you to purchase something in DCS. Other mods, like the one we're gonna to install today, are completely free, do not require a donor aircraft, and are maintained consistently by the community or by its developers. Now there's quite a few of them out there that are uh, really stable and work great. I haven't gone through all of them and tested them thoroughly, so I'm only gonna go through the one that I know I have used for many years and have never had a problem with it, and that is the a4 Skyhawk community mod. This thing is awesome. I've never heard of anyone having problems with it. I've never had problems with it as far as like breaking DCS or breaking integrity check or anything like that. It's so well trusted and so well loved that even public servers use it. Not all of them, but a lot of public servers even have the A4 in it. Most of these other mods, public servers don't even load. They don't even have them because they are hit and miss. Sometimes they break DCS. Sometimes they break IC. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. We don't know. And not everyone has them. But the A4 Skyhawk is pretty much a universally loved and trusted community mod amongst the entire DCS community. So at least from what I've seen. So that's the one we're going to be installing today. So first thing we need to do is download the actual files for the A4 mod. You can get the download link either in the Eagle Dynamics forums or on Discord if you have the A4 Discord uh, page. If you don't know where to get it, you can always go to bogeydope.net. So let's open up a browser and go to bogeydope.net, click on DCS, and then recommended mods and add-ons. Now, because I haven't tested all the mods out there, uh, these are the only four that I trust to not break DCS or cause any problems. I've never had problems with these, and these are the ones that I recommend. I know it's only four. This list will grow as, uh, as I test things and play with things. Right now, I trust the A4, uh, and I highly recommend it to anyone that wants a full fidelity aircraft that's completely free and doesn't require any type of donor aircraft. So we're going to click on website here under the A4, and that's going to take us to the GitHub, GitHub releases page. Now, this is going to show all the current releases uh, to the A4. This will always take you to the latest release. All right, so as of right now, this is the latest release. I know it shows it; it's like a year and a half old, but it hasn't had any problems. So if it's not broke, don't fix it. We're going to scroll down and click on the zip file here for the mod itself. We do not need the source code. So just click on the community A4 zip. So click on that and it'll start the download. Once it's downloaded, I click on the folder here. Don't click open file, just click the folder. And then we're gonna unzip this zip file. So right click on it, click extract all, click extract. That's a pretty large file. I think it's a gigabyte zipped up. So it's gonna take a little bit. All right, and once it's unzipped, you'll see another folder here with the same name. Just double click on that, and we're gonna open up the readme file. Now in here is all the data about the A4, a lot of intro information, who has contributed to the development of it, all the features, all that stuff. Scroll down until you see the installation section. This is gonna give you all the information you need to know to get this thing installed properly. You need to follow these steps to the T or you'll have problems. If you do have problems, go back to this and reference everything. Make sure you did it right. If you did do it right, you followed it to the T and you still are having trouble, I highly recommend that you join the Discord, the A4 Community Discord and throw your questions in there. They're gonna be more than happy to help you, uh, especially if you're having trouble getting it installed. 
Uh, but it's a fairly simple process we're going to go through here. But if you do have problems, that's where you need to be. If you don't have Discord, I highly recommend it. It is the most common way to communicate with the DCS community, whether it be through squadrons, actual Eagle Dynamics, um, community managers, developers, things like that. They all have their different Discord servers that you can join. Uh, and Discord is free. Just create your account, log in, and join their Discord. You'll be able to talk to the whole community. Another way is to get into the Eagle Dynamics forums and post something there, post a question. It's going to be a little slower. You're going to have to wait for somebody to see your post and actually give you an answer if they even choose to. Whereas on a Discord, it's like an instant messenger and you can just talk to the entire community and everybody talks to each other. It's great. So anyway, so if you need to get into the A4 community Discord, let's close this. Uh, we're going to go up to the top and click on community A4 E-C. And right here on the main page, you're just going to scroll down and they have a link to their Discord right here. Just click on that, sign into Discord, and it'll get you into the A4 community Discord server. You can start throwing in your questions and your problems and people will give you a hand. All right, so we've got this downloaded. We've read the readme. Let's start installing. If you have a mod manager like OVGME, what's really great is the developers here gave the structure. So double click on mods and you got aircraft and then the a4c and inside here is the actual mod files right so you can actually just drag this into your ovgme installation location and pretty much have it all structured out so for those of you who don't know what ovgme is i have a video on it and how to set it up so that you don't have to manually install these things you have to set it up first but once it's all set up you can turn all your mods on and off very quickly. You just click on the mod you want, click install or uninstall, and it'll turn it on or turn it off inside DCS. You don't have to sit there and manually shuffle around fo uh, folders and files, right? So this is a lot easier, especially if you're trying to troubleshoot a problem. DCS all of a sudden broke. Which mod was it? I don't know. You can slowly disable and enable mods until you find out what it is that's causing problems. But today we're just going to go over this, the manual installation route. And uh, if you want to use a mod manager, I've got a video on OVGME, link in the description below. So double click on mods, aircraft, and we're going to right click on the mod itself. Right click and copy. Now we're going to click on the C drive, go to users, your username, saved games, DCS, mods, aircraft, and if you have other mods in here, you'll probably see them, but this is where you're going to put that mod folder. So right click, click paste, and that's going to transfer the mod folder into here. All right. If you double click on the A4 mod folder, you should see this. If it doesn't look like this, then you've done something wrong. So make sure you follow the instructions in that readme file. All right. Once you have the mod folder in here, you can close this and launch DCS. Click launch. All right, now that you're here, you should see the A4E Skyhawk down here at the bottom. You can even click on it and click set wallpaper. So you got the A4 wallpaper. Click on instant action. And notice I've got a bunch of aircraft here. You're not going to see that if you're a brand new user. All you're going to see here is the SU-25T, the uh, TF-51D, and the A4E. So select the A4E, click on caucuses, and you'll have all these single missions you can use. We'll use the cold start. All right, once it's loaded, click fly. There we are. Very cool. Press F2. Get the outside view. Very cool. All right. Now what's awesome about this mod is that it is a full fidelity module, meaning every button and switch in the cockpit is actually clickable. All right, so this is, is a great stepping stone into full fidelity, if you want to. A free stepping stone. All right, hit escape. And that's it. That is how you install the A4E Skyhawk. This is one of the more stable ones. It is very well maintained. It is a community mod, and it is awesome. Join the Discord. If you have any problems, reach out to them. Ask them. They'll be more than happy to help you. Hopefully, this was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go. there.
Flame out.